God would do for people what He did for me. Amen. I, 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 I'll tell you, and I say this often, and, and I, I assure you, I, I'm, I'm as truthful as I can be. I don't understand all these people that tell me they believe God and love God. <laughs> and nothing. They don't serve God. They're not interested in God. They don't seem to care a hoot about the people of God. You see, folks? So we've got to be able to tell people the truth. We are involved in reconciling men to God. Jesus Christ was the peacemaker. There's one mediator between man and God, the man, Christ Jesus. That word mediator means peacemaker. He is the peace effector. He doesn't try it to make it. He makes it happen. Ephesians, I love that passage in Ephesians 2, along about verse 13. He is our peace. 5, 1 of Romans, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God. One writer says, peace we are having. The mindset of Christ in evangelism was that of haste. He didn't have a lot of time to waste. He said, I must work the works of him that sent me. The night comes when no man shall work. Gospel of Matthew says, many will say unto me in that day. I don't have any idea when that day is going to come. But I understand that that day is going to come. Yeah. And there's not going to be any second chances. Or let's just back up and try this again. Life is brief. Life is short. I don't know how to explain it to you, young people. I've tried to talk this to my boys, and especially to, the, to my grandchildren. I said, you, you know, you can't hardly wait. Abby is, is getting excited about getting her driving permit. You know? I'm thinking... You're going to put my grandbaby out there with all these idiots? I'll buy her her first car. A 963 Caterpillar. <laughs> the cab on it, the tracks, the big bucket in the front. And they can't get to her. so fast. They're growing up so quickly. And then it just thundered. And I woke up one morning 60. I don't know what happened to 40 and 50. Well, I can remember 50. That you ladies put all that black veils in your face and all that that night. Remember that. You know, Time, life is so short. People are dying. People are dying without Christ. I can't give you all the statistics. I'm not going to get into that. But the mindset of Christ was that it's time to get at. He didn't have time to waste. He had to do, finish the work that God has sent him to do. The Bible tells me, the Bible tells you, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 34, Awake to righteousness and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of Christ. I speak this to your shame. That's not me. That's the Apostle Paul. Read the verse, 1 Corinthians 15, 34. Awake to righteousness and sin not. You know what, folks? My grandchildren don't have time 
for me to be sinful. There's too many other ungodly influences in their life. I made a fool of myself one night at a Pee Wee League football game on Wyatt's team. The fellow was outrunning everybody on Wyatt's team about to score a touchdown and another fellow on Wyatt's team was just about to run him down and tackle him. Then another fella on the other team tackled him. There's one thing to block a fella, but if he doesn't have the ball, you can't tackle. The ref didn't throw the flag. Everybody in the stands knew he should have threw the flag. Not because they knew the rules, but because they heard some guy yelling at them. When it's your grandkids. It's like it was the Super Bowl, folks. There should be commercials on TV at this game. And I woke that referee up. And the grandkids there were just laughing. How do you make right about that? Our children don't have time for us to have to spend a lot of time in repentance. I'm thankful that we can confess our sins to the Lord. But my point is we need to have some spiritual integrity. Amen. We need to be holy people that we might properly represent a holy God in a sinful world. And folks, that's easy to preach. And every Christian I know will answer positively to this. I want to be holy. But it's the most difficult thing I've ever tried to do in my whole life. To just consistently be holy. We sing the song, it says, take time to be holy. Speak off with thy Lord. It takes time to be holy. Because you know why? We wake up of a morning, sometimes not too holy. The mindsets of Christ in evangelism, I, I, I wish it was as easy as some people try to say it is. But it isn't. I draw your attention to Fox's Book of Martyrs again. Real, genuine Christianity, real, genuine evangelism cost thousands of people their lives. I'm talking about evangelism that the world is not going to appreciate you. Deeply troubled by this brand of Christianity that's, let's appeal to the world. Jesus said, you're not of the world. The world hated me. The world's going to hate you. So often evangelism is geared towards church growth. Go out to the highways and byways and compel them to come in that my house might be full. But our motivation, our mindset is to be the souls of men, not heads to count. Amen. And so often churches get themselves in tremendous indebtedness and then they've got to do everything they can to attract the crowd because they've got to attract the dollars. And I'd like to have more heads to count and more dollars to count. Don't misunderstand me. But we've got to make sure we have the right focus and the right mindset. That we're geared to reach the souls of men. And as we are obedient in that, God's going to take care of all that other. I think again of Mary and Joseph. Joseph didn't buy her story. Remember? The Bible says he's mindful to put her way of pride. 
<laughs> yeah, right. You're pregnant, that's plain, that's clear to see, and you're going to tell me it's of God? He's dumping her somewhere. Well, the Lord will take care of the Josephs. If we'll do things right, and we'll be godly and submissive, God will take care of the Josephs just like he did there. Our Father, thank you for the word of God. Thank you again for the people of God, the privilege to bear your word. Help us to be mindful of the needs of people around us and then help us to be holy. We'll thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.